How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Yes, uh, my video, uh, YouTube didn't like it. And uh, like I said, I do what I can. How's everybody doing? I want to go over this. I had a few questions. I'm watching tomorrow. See what happens. Um, and uh, I do, like I said, we're on high watch. And uh, I want to make this video right here because you can read Jeremiah 50 for yourself. It has everything in it. As I said in my last video, um, it has fire, it has the sword, it has Babylon, it has what's going on right now. I had a couple questions and I will go over it. When I had my Nebuchadnezzar dream, which I told you about the stump, and I had it in my one video about Nebuchadnezzar, this is in Jeremiah 50. It says right here, And the last this Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, hath broken his bones. Right here. This is in Jeremiah 50. I said this is Trump. And I played this movie clip right here. This not the great Babylon that I have built as my royal palace with my mighty power for the glory of my majesty. His words were still on his lips when a voice came down from heaven. Nebuchadnezzar. For your arrogance and your failure to give glory to the Most High, your authority is stripped from. Well, this time with Nebuchadnezzar, this time with Nebuchadnezzar, judgment was rendered on him, and it was at the first of the year, as I showed in my other videos. Okay. Well, it says. In Jeremiah, it says in Jeremiah, it says his bones, the king of Ad has broken his bones. So, you know, that, that's what I'm expecting to happen. Something happened to Trump, broken bones. Um, it talks about the sword which Jesus um, has a sword. He comes with a sword. It also talks about fire in here, as I said. It also talks about, and I will talk about this, it talks about the shepherds. Okay, the shepherds. Because I had a question about this, and it talks about, it's right here, the shepherds. I had a question about this, and I'm going to answer it. It says right here, My people have lost, or my people have been lost. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They turn them away at the mountains. The shepherds have, have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have Cause them to go astray. Who are your shepherds? Your shepherds are your pastors of your churches. Jeremiah says, Woe to the pastors that destroy and scatter my sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. So Jeremiah was saying in Jeremiah 50, the sheep right here, pastors, Jeremiah is saying, my people have been lost, their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They're pastors of their churches. As it says right here, in Jeremiah 50. Right here. 56. It's their pastors. 
pastors of churches. Jesus is our good shepherd. Jesus is our good shepherd. He says right here, talks about pasture. So we are supposed to follow the good shepherd. I am the good shepherd right here. I giveth life to my sheep. We don't hear nobody else. We don't hear the pastors. I am the good sheeper. I am the good shepherd. And my sheep, they know of mine. My father, which knoweth me. And knoweth I the father. Says down here. It says, the sheep I have, which they are of my fold, them I must bring, and they hear my voice. Right here. We hear the shepherd's voice. We hear Jesus' voice. And there shall be one fold, one shepherd. This is also in Jeremiah 50. Down here. It says... Talks about the flock. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make inhabitants and desolate. Right here. Says, Who will appoint me in that the time? The who is the shepherd that I will stand before me. This is Jesus. He's going to stand before us. He is our good shepherd. May appoint over her, and who like me, appoint me in the time for who is the shepherd that will stand before me. This is Jesus. He's our good shepherd. So we aren't following anybody else as it says in John right here. We are following Jesus. We, we hear his voice right here. This is in Proverbs chapter 8. Blessed is the man that hears me, watching daily at my gates and at my doors. Many are called, few are chosen. That's also in Matthew 22. It says chosen right here. Who is a chosen man? Right here, many are called, few are chosen. So this has everything in it. Fire, the sword. We are chosen in the pointed over her. We are chosen, chosen man. In Joel, it says, I showed in my last video, and upon my servants and handmaidens I will pour out my spirit. This is calling you, as I showed in my other video. So, when Jesus calls it, we hear his voice, as it says in John chapter 10, right here. They shall hear my voice, and they shall be onefold. So, we don't listen to nobody else. We don't listen to our pastors. We do what Jesus told us to do. As I said right here, When Jesus comes out of his closet for his bride, when he come, when we come out of our prayer closet, when we've been praying in secret, it says, uh, when Jesus, he will come for his bride in her closet. This is not the church. It's not the church. The church are scattered by their shepherds, which is their pastors of their churches. Right here. They have scattered the sheep. We hear, we hear the good shepherd's voice. They scatter their sheep. Pastors. I had this comment in this sheet uh, right here. I don't think that the church, they are the guests invited. Yep, I agree totally. 
Jesus, Jesus said, follow his voice, follow his instructions. Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 6 to pray to the Father in secret. The Father which seeth you in secret rewards you openly. He, he gave you this instructions. The Father picks the bride, as I have said before. In a Jewish wedding, the Father picks the bride. So, Rachel and Leah, perfect example. So, yes, I wanted to answer this comment. And, you know, like I said, there's a lot of things that uh, people ask me to do this all the time. And, uh, like I said, I just had the energy today. So, I figured, I figured I'd do it. Also, too, I played this, this video right here. Before and what does it say? This is this is exactly the 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 ones that escaped right here. The ones that escaped um in the hundred eighty five thousand soldiers that were killed that God the angel of death killed. Which here it is. This is what. And you drive back even one official of the least of my master's servants when you rely on Egypt for chariots and horsemen. Now have I come up against this place to destroy it without the Lord's approval. The Lord said to me, go up against this land and destroy it. Second Kings 18. Sennacherib's royal spokesman made what he thought was a factly case for Hezekiah and his people to open their gates and surrender. First, Egypt was a useless ally who would not deliver them. This was true. Second, he was certain that the people of Judah had enraged their God by destroying worship sites. Hezekiah destroyed the worship sites. The idols, this is God's going to do this. God's, Jesus is going to do this. He's going to destroy all the idols, and that is in the churches. God is a jealous God. He wants one-on-one -on -one relationship with you. Isaiah the prophet. They always went to Isaiah the prophet. Isaiah the prophet was talking to God on his own. One-on-one. -on -one. That's in your prayer closet. That's in your prayer closet. That's where Isaiah was talking to God. We don't need a mediator. You don't need a temple or a church or whatever. They scatter the sheep. If they if Hezekiah destroyed all these worship sites, where are they praying? It's it says in the Bible it says pray without ceasing. I don't know about you, but I don't run to church. In first in Thessalonians, when it says pray without ceasing, these people won't have no church to go to when God lays everything waste. That is, the forbidden high places and altars that Hezekiah had demolished. Of course, Hezekiah was correct to demolish them. Even the king's supporters, however, would most likely question the king's actions. So he destroyed all the temples, all the altars. Um, this is this is the churches. Going on. This is what's going to happen again, and uh, that's what it says in Revelations about the uh, idols worship these these places. The, the the true worshipers, as I have said before, the true worshipers worship the Father in 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 spirit and in truth. The Father is a spirit. Jesus said, "You must worship Him in spirit and in truth." I'll add this into the end. I'll I'll put it at the end, but so yes, you are correct. I agree with you totally. And we are coming to that realization. You are, as I am. I like I said, I came to this realization, and you are too, just like Hezekiah did. God wants to talk to you one on one. Jeremiah, as I said right here, Jeremiah 50, you can go over it. It has everything in it. Birth pangs right here. Babylon's going to be destroyed from the north. 
right here. My people have been lost. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Jesus knows this. And uh, these guys are the wedding guests because their shepherds are going to be punished. Right here. Woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter my sheep. And Jesus talks about pasture and everything all about this in John chapter 10. They hear my voice. He puts us in green pastures. They're right, right here. We follow him. We don't follow nobody else. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. Proverbs chapter 8. Blessed is the man that hears me. Proverbs chapter 8 is about the father and the son. You can read it for yourself. It says, he made me in the beginning everlasting. So right here, Jesus is, the good, Jesus is a good shepherd. We hear his voice. We are watching daily at his gates and at his doors. This is what Jesus instructed us to do. He said, remember Lot's wife. That's in Luke 17. In Joel, this is, he will put out his spirit on all flesh. We are walking by the spirit. We, uh, we heard the call. Hezekiah right here. And right here, this is, uh, right here, this is uh, Nebuchadnezzar. As I said, this is just like Trump. His bones will be broken into pieces. Broken his bones. So, like I said, this I'm going to add the end of this. I'm just going to talk about the true worshipers. And end it here. God bless. Yes. And uh, like I said, I will add this to the end of my video. It says, But an hour cometh, and it is now, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father seeketh such to worship him. As I have showed in my videos, the Father gets 10%. They are spared the sword. They go under the rod. Uh, the worshipers, that is right here, Jesus told this to the Samaritan lady in John chapter 4, told you how to worship, as he said in Matthew chapter 6. This is the Lord's Prayer. He said, go in your closet, tell the Father when secret, the Father which seeth you in secret shall reward you openly. That's where it says in Revelations about the Church of Philadelphia, the true worshipers, he, he that is true. We are the true worshipers. It's the Church of Philadelphia. Church of Philadelphia is different from all the other churches in Revelations. The Lord does not have nothing against them. This is just like Hezekiah. God spared Hezekiah because he was faithful, he was true. And uh, like I said, the true worshipers. We are the true worshipers. I would read, uh, like I said, you can go through uh, um, Jeremiah 50. has everything in there. Um, right here, the date I am watching this weekend. And uh, we know, as it says in Jeremiah 50, they all shoot at her. They all do. Um, North Korea, from the north, another country from the north. They all should bend the bow and shoot at her. This is just the other day, yesterday. North Korea tests more. It's coming. They are all going to shoot at her. Um, something I wanted to show you, something else. I am watching this weekend. 17th is another day I'm watching, as I said, on the Enoch calendar, the 17th is the first day of the first month, tabernacle being set up. I did see in Israel right now they're talking about setting up the tabernacle, which I thought was very interesting. In Daniel, it talks about Michael, okay? He withstood him 21 days. It's very interesting. Very interesting. This is very interesting. Russia started their invasion of Ukraine on... February 24th. A 
If you go from the 24th, that comes to the 17th. It's very interesting that they have a statue of Michael the Archangel. So, and also too, um, they have not got to Kiev yet. They have not got to Kiev. Russia has not got there yet. There's all these reports out that they have not been using their best forces. They've been using foreign troops and not their best troops. If they wanted to get to Kiev, they could have been there already. Um, Russia could have. Um, they've been using these all these older weapons uh, that was on been reported on quite a few things. If they wanted to get there, they could have been there already. It's very interesting. As they say, as above, so is below. The uh, Illuminati, the the rulers of this world, uh, they have their sit their pyramid signs above as below. Well, they they have Michael the Archangel there. The uh, started their invasion on the twenty uh, fourth. It says Michael says in Daniel chapter ten, he withstood him twenty one days. Very interesting. Just information. God bless you all. See you tonight, tomorrow, sorry, Saturday at 9 p.m. live stream. I'm watching what happens with Trump Saturday. And uh, we will see as we watch every day for our blessed hope. But we are the true worshipers, as it says in John here. We are the true worshipers. The Father seeketh such to worship him. Right here. Jesus tells you in John chapter 4, the Samaritan lady, she said, she said, your fathers worship in the mountains. Very interesting. This is also in Daniel. Daniel, and this is also what I showed you about um, Hezekiah. Your fathers worship in the mountains. This is also in Daniel, or also in Jeremiah. Talks about the mountains. And ye say Jerusalem is a place to worship. Hezekiah took down the altars on the mountains. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the time cometh in the, and is, is the mountain, just as Hezekiah, when ye shall neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye know not what you worship. For salvation is of the Jews, but the time cometh and is now when the true worshipers worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father seeketh such to worship him. So he is saying the same thing as Hezekiah did about worshiping on the altars on the mountains, as I showed you in the beginning of this video. The Father seeketh such to worship him, the true worshipers. It's the Church of Philadelphia. You can go over the first part of my video where I show you about the mountains with Hezekiah and also in Jeremiah. God bless you all. We are out of here soon as we watch together. But yes, I wanted to put out this video, the true worshipers. As Jesus told you, we are following Jesus' instructions. God bless you all.